How's it going, everyone? It's Kate Lumity here, and we are doing another game hunt, and look at this place. This is a mega replay, so it is basically a gigantic version of disc replay, and it's awesome. <laughs> this is something I've been wanting to get on camera for a while now, and I was finally able to go here and capture footage for all of y'all, and go game hunting, find some goodies, and there's just, I, I haven't been to a store that's as big as this one, so, so there's just so much here. When you go in, it's so overwhelming because there's so many games, and it's just like, where do you start? <laughs> I went ahead and started with the PS1 games, because there's still PS1 games I'm looking for and I need for my collection, including the Spyro video games. I love the Spyro games, and I don't own them. I saw this weird looking racing game and then I was just like, nope, not my thing, <laughs> back immediately. But there's still a lot of PS1 games I need. Like I said, I need the Spyro games. Uh, they had one of them here but didn't have the manual and that's kind of a deal breaker for me. Especially on PS1 games where the manual is literally the cover art. But there's still quite a few interesting games on the PS1. And I'm always up for finding new games on the PS1 that I've never seen before too. And if you ever have a recommendation for any video game on any of the systems, uh, you know, I, I have a few different systems I can play on, you know, give me recommendations. Give me recommendations down below, and I'll see if I can find them, I'll see if I can check them out, and hopefully I can do reviews for them too. But yeah, you gotta look up and down all of these shelves. Uh, my brother handed me this, it's Colony Wars, and I feel like I've played one of them before, I don't remember which one, though. And they had three different Colony Wars, all for the PS1. They were a little bit more than I was wanting to spend on PS1 games today because I had some other things in mind for some older systems. So, I didn't pick those ones up. I did want to look at some of the Xbox One games. And I, I didn't see quite what I was looking for. I did see a copy of Duke Nukem 3D, which was tempting because I do not own that physically. And I do love Duke Nukem 3D. I love all the Duke Nukem games, but that one's really good. That it, It's like a kind of a remaster, I guess you could say. But Duke Nukem's like one of my favorite boomer shooters of all time. I absolutely love that one. I was looking for the PS2 games, and I was just like, where are they at? Where are they at? <laughs> I ran into the PS3 games real quick, and then I realized, oh, this entire wall is PS2. I thought these were movies at first. These are all PS2 games. I immediately saw Freaky Flyers, which is a game that I have seen in Metal Jesus Rocks videos, and I believe I've seen it in Game Chasers as well, so I went ahead and picked that one up. That's one that I've been looking for. And, yeah, there's... Oh man, there's so many PS2 games. I could spend hours going through PS2 games and trying to find things that, like, I've never seen before. And there were some games that I had never seen before. I have never seen that, like, Nickelodeon game that has that weird, like, cat guy on the front of it. I had never seen that before. I saw the Dot Hat games, those were cool. They had quite a few Japanese import PlayStation 2 games, and those are always cool to see too. I was looking for a game called Malice. I'm still looking for it. I didn't find it. And the thing is, it's like, it's not a pricey game, but it's just kind of one of those things where I just would rather find it in person because even though it's not very expensive online, I know it's probably going to be even cheaper in person. <laughs> it's probably like a $6 game in person, so if I could just find it in person, I would rather do that. That's one of the games I'm looking for on PS2 here. I saw this, and I was tempted by this one. It's a PS2 shoot 'em up apparently. It looks awesome, and I think it's by Working Designs, too, and Working Designs makes some pretty good stuff. So I saw that, and that was tempting. That was very, very tempting, and the case for it was awesome. I loved how like reflective and shiny it was and everything. I had to go to the W's real quick because I was looking for the Warhammer uh, Fire Warrior game, I believe that's what it's called. Warhammer 40k Fire Warrior. I, I hope I'm saying the right name there, but that's the one I want. I've been looking for it. They did not have it. I, I, I saw it at the disc replay in one of my other videos. I probably should have got it then, but I was focused on getting the, the Retron 5 system last time I went to a, a disc replay. So I should have got it then, but you know. I'll find it eventually. I'll find another copy eventually. <laughs> I was also looking for Sims Herbs, Herbs, Sims in the City, whatever you want to call it. Didn't see that there, unfortunately. I did see Sims 1 and Sims Busting Out, both fantastic Sims games. But those were not the ones I was looking for particularly. I think I have copies of both of those. 
Um, I ha- I think I actually have multiple copies of S- Sims One because I- I've played Sims so much that I actually wore out the discs multiple times. <laughs> but yeah, I- I'm always looking for Sims herbs whenever I can find it. I- I'd love to find a copy of it for a decent price again. I saw that Batman game was kind of interested in that. I liked old superhero games like that. But yeah, I mean this just this wall of crazy crazy PS2 goodness, man. So much good stuff here. I, I have over 100 PS2 games right now. I have the majority of what I want, but there's still a few things. There's still a few things that I'd like to find. And uh, hopefully, you know, with enough of these game hunts, I'll eventually come across them uh, on camera. <laughs> but yeah, you can see I'm just... I'm, I'm loving it. <laughs> I saw Muppets Party Cruise too, and Muppets Party Cruise is another one of those games that I've been looking at because I like the Muppets, you know. Uh, I saw I didn't know what that one was. I, I got excited and I saw what it was, and I was just like, "Oh, never mind." But then I saw Motor Mayhem, and this game looks like Twisted Metal, and that kind of intrigued me. I was just like, "Ooh, I like you know these driving combat games, so I'll pick it up and give it a shot. Why not?" But yeah, I'm. It's just so, so many, so many sports games. <laughs> it's just like, there's always so many just piles of sports games whenever I go to pretty much any game store. But even here, it's like, because there's already so many PS2 games, there's just a ridiculous... Why is there a Wii U game in there? I just noticed that. <laughs> Someone didn't put that in the right spot. <laughs> Sorry, I got sidetracked. I just saw that. I was like, what in the world? <laughs> I had to go look at some of the original Xbox games because I like to find the Xbox games that are backwards compatible on the Xbox Series X, and I'd like to find Unreal Championship. I'd like to find those games. Uh, the second one is the only one that's backwards compatible for some reason. I don't know why that is. And they had it, but they didn't have it with the case or the the cover art. They had the case, but not the cover art. And I gotta have the cover art on my games. You know, I have like one disc-based game I think that doesn't have the cover art. And I don't really like even having that. <laughs> like, I, I just have to have the cover art. I don't care about manuals and stuff like that. You know, manuals are nice, but I really want to have the cover art on my physical games. That's one thing I, I really, when, I, when I'm looking at Xbox games and PS2 games, they gotta have that. They gotta have that for sure. But I didn't see what I was looking for there. Went to 360, also looking for backwards compatible games in the 360. And they did have one thing that I was interested in. Uh, I was looking for Shadows of the Damned. They did not have that one, unfortunately. That's the one I'm actually looking for. I couldn't believe that that was backwards compatible when I heard about it. I was just like, are you, are you kidding me? They made that backwards compatible? But Shadows of the Damned isn't the game I picked up. <laughs> but but there's other games I'm still looking for on the, ba- for, on the backwards compatibility list. Uh, there were some Sonic games I'm actually looking for that I need to find. Uh, I need Sonic... I think it's Unleashed. I need that one. But this is the game I saw that I've also been looking for. And it's the Tron game on the Xbox 360. That's one that I've been wanting for a while. So when I saw that, I knew that one was coming home with me. I, I want to play more of the Tron video games. So that was definitely on the list to pick up. But yeah, I, I love going through the backwards compatible list. I usually pull out my phone and I'm like looking at the list as I'm going through. There's some games I still would love to see become backwards compatible eventually. Like Open Season. I know it's like probably most people don't care about the Open Season video game. But I love that game and I wish it would become backwards compatible. Uh, there's there's a lot of games. I wish that the original Halo would become backwards compatible. Because that game is so cheap still. Like Halo Combat Evolved... I actually find it here in a minute and show it on camera. It's like five, six bucks. And it's just like, man, I actually prefer the original Xbox version of that game. And I just wish it was backwards compatible. But for some reason, the original Halo is not backwards compatible on the Xbox Series X. Only the Xbox 360 remaster is. I don't know why that is, but that's just how it is. I looked at the GameCube games. GameCube games are always, it feels like at all of these stores, it's always kind of a letdown whenever you look at them because there's just not much there. You know, the stuff that people want is usually ridiculously priced, and a lot of the games that are on other systems are overpriced on the GameCube, so I just pick them up on the other systems. So, nothing I'm really looking for there. I do have a Wii, but I, I, you know, I don't really collect a whole lot for it. I need to get back into the group for collecting for the Wii, because it does have some good games on it, honestly. And I saw, over here, 
all the Genesis games, and I was just like, yep, I'm going over there. <laughs> and I've said it before, I try to only collect Genesis games if they have the case with them. They're really the only old system that I do that with, the only, like, old cartridge-based systems I do that with, because, you know, they actually had nice hard cases, unlike, you know, the Nintendo, where it's just cardboard. But, you know, they didn't really have anything that was really calling out to me, you know. I saw Frogger, I was a little bit interested by that, but that was about it. And then I saw mountains of GBA games, and I got distracted by those instead of the Genesis games. <laughs> I love seeing some mountains and mountains of Game Boy Advance games. So many. And there's so many that I still need to pick up and that I, I want to play. And they're so cheap. The majority of them are like 5 bucks. And Oh, man, I just love seeing them. I saw Danny Phantom Urban Jungle there, and I, I paid more for that at the other disc replay, actually. So I saw it in there for 5 bucks, and I was just like, man, I almost would buy another copy. <laughs> but no, no, I didn't get another copy. Uh, but... Yeah, I just love seeing all of these Game Boy games, man. I, I love seeing them. I saw a bunch of original Game Boy games that I didn't know existed, and I definitely was wanting them when I saw them. I'm looking still for some certain Game Boy Color games as well, but I didn't see the specific ones I was looking for. I saw one that was Tech Deck Dudes, and I was a little bit tempted by that one because that is one of the few I've been looking for. But I went ahead and passed on it because I found some stuff that I was more, I, I was a lot more interested in. But yeah, just look at all those. <laughs> There's piles and piles, mountains of Game Boy Advance games. You love to see it. You love to see it. And and they had a lot. I could have gone crazy on, on these games. Let me tell you, I could have gotten so many of these because they had games that I, I still want to get, games I've been looking for on the Game Boy Advance. You know, they had BattleBots, for example. That's one I've been wanting to pick up. They have Robots on the Game Boy Advance. That's one I've been wanting to play. So many games, but... You know, I had specific things that I found instead that I wanted more than those other games. Some things that I knew existed, some things that I didn't know. And as you can see here, just more fantastic retro games. Lots of Super Nintendo games, and I saw that Tiny Toons Adventures. And as soon as I see a Tiny Toon Adventures game, I know that if I don't have it, most likely, I'm picking it up. I love anything Looney Tunes or Tiny Toons, so... Uh, anything like that, Animaniac, stuff like that. I love those games. If I see them, I'm going to pick them up. So, I definitely... I saw a few Tiny Toon games here. and So, you'll see those later on. But yeah, just again, I, I'm looking for some specific things still in Super Nintendo. I'm looking for... Uh, there's a, one more Trolls game that I need. And I believe it's Stone Protectors. I believe that's the last Trolls game I need on the Super Nintendo. So, I'm looking for that. I'm looking for Doom on the Super Nintendo, and that one's obviously a lot easier to see because that's like a red cartridge, so I'll know it when I see that one, <laughs> but I haven't seen it yet, um, but that's one I would like to find, and I here's the regular Nintendo games. I need two Trolls games, I think, two or, I think there's two Trolls games on the NES that I need, so I was looking for those, but unfortunately they did not have those, uh, but... You know, I, I always look through the NES games to see if there's anything that I've never seen before because, you know, I'm not as well-versed in, like, the NES and stuff like that. Uh, I'm not really well-versed in any of the, like, cartridge-based stuff, if I'm being honest. Like, a lot of the 16-bit stuff I'm, I'm learning about, a lot of the 8-bit stuff I'm learning about and kind of, like, f figuring out what's good and stuff. Uh, I, I saw some shooter, like, shoot 'em ups and stuff like that that I got tempted by, but I, I went ahead and passed on them just because... Uh, I found some other stuff that I, I really wanted instead. Uh, I tried to get on camera. It's a little bit hard to see there, but there is a Simpsons Krusty game in there, um, Krusty's Funhouse, and I saw that, and that one was tempting as well. But so much Super Nintendo goodness. Now, after I got done in the Mega Replay, I went to another place. And this is for all you Gundam fans out there. All you you know, model kit builders and stuff. I wanted to show this on video too. This is a different shop. This is a small little like comic shop. And when I say small, it's actually not really that small. It's actually pretty big. <laughs> but the Gundam section is, you know, it, it's not as big as a, a lot of the other sections in this store. But yeah, I, I wanted to get this on camera just because it... It was cool to see all these Godzilla stuff, all, all the different mech suits that they have too that you can build, uh, whether it's Gunpla or it's just, you know, it's sort, it's just sort of random stuff. They had so many different things, uh, and they even had, like, some suits that were, like, some, like, model kits that were basically if you took real-life vehicles and turned them into mech suits, and I thought that was kind of cool. But I just want to get this on camera because I just thought it was kind of cool to see 
all of these model kits in the box and everything like that. All right, everybody, I am back and I am able to show you what I picked up at the Mega Replay. So let's go ahead and get right into it. I have picked up the absolute mother load of Tiny Toon video games. I picked up like five Tiny Toon video games, and overall I have 12 video games to show you guys. So let's go ahead and show you. So I picked up Tiny Toon Adventures on the original NES. I have not played this one, and I'm, I would like to pick up all of the Tiny Toon video games. And I know that there is also a sequel for this on the NES that I would like to get eventually, but I picked this one up for 15 bucks. I'm pretty happy about that. <laughs> now, I also picked up this Tiny uh, Tiny Toons game, this is Tiny Toon Adventures Wacky Sports Challenge. And this one was a little bit more expensive. This one's $24.99. But, you know, I definitely wanted this in my collection. And it looks like that's pretty close to the average going price right now. It's anywhere from like $25 to, like, I think I've seen them for like $25 to $50. So, uh, obviously, $25 is on the low end, so I'll take it. So there we go. Now, I also picked up three Game Boy games that are all Tiny Toon Adventures games. Now, I did not realize that there were this many Tiny Toon games on the Game Boy, but apparently there is. Uh, so I went ahead and picked these up. So I got Tiny Toon Wacky Sports. Obviously, this is similar to this one, I'm guessing, because this is Wacky Sports and that's Wacky Sports Challenge. So I picked that up. I picked up a Tiny Toon Adventures Babs Big Break. And... Tiny Toon Adventures Montana Mo uh, Montana's Movie Madness. And those are the Game Boy games I picked up for Tiny Toons. So, yeah, I picked up a lot of Tiny Toon stuff. There's all of the Tiny Toons uh, haul right there. So let me go ahead and show you what's next, which is The Simpsons. I actually picked up a couple Simpsons video games. I picked up Krusty's Super Fun House. This one was $12.99. This is one that I've been wanting to play for a while, and I'm... I'm glad that I picked this up there for twelve ninety nine because uh, I almost got a copy of this earlier for about like twenty bucks. So I saved a little bit of money getting it this way, getting it in person. So I'm happy about that, and I'm excited to check that out. Krusty's like my favorite character in The Simpsons, so definitely wanted that. And I also picked up this one, and this one was actually more expensive than the Super Nintendo game, but it's a Game Boy Color game. This is The Simpsons: Night of the Living Treehouse of Horror. Now. I love the Treehouse of Horror Simpsons episodes. Those are my favorite episodes. So to see a video game made for it, that was something I had to pick up as soon as I saw it. I, I'm not familiar with this game. Uh, I, I've at least seen footage of what Krusty's Super Fun House looks like. I didn't know that this game existed, so when I saw that, I had to pick it up, and I'm pretty excited to check it out. Now, next up, I did pick up another Game Boy game, original Game Boy game. This is Crash Dummies, the Incredible Crash Dummies. I grew up with, I think it was the reboot of these. They came out with the toy line in the 2000s. And they obviously had, you know, the, the old toy line as well. I think that they just reused some of the molds and everything. But this is a game that I've been looking for. Uh, it, online, it goes from 11 to like 15 bucks. So finding it for $5.99 was pretty good. So I'd check that out later on. And I picked this one up, and I, funny thing is, I actually already played through this one and beat it. <laughs> I picked up Defender Saving the Human Race. I like Defender on PS2. I grew up with that game, and this, I guess, is their kind of like Game Boy Advance equivalent for it. It's very different, obviously, because this is more like a 2D kind of shoot 'em up style game. When you look up shoot 'em ups, this is one of the games that pops up on the Game Boy Advance. And I guess that's what it is, but it's it's kind of odd because it's not like your standard shoot 'em up. But I'll talk about it more in a review later on. But I, I have played through it. I've already beaten it, and I did enjoy it. It's definitely not perfect, but it's also only a four ninety nine video game. You know, it's, it's not very expensive, so not too bad for what it is. All right, and now I have three newer games. These are all disc based video games. So let's go ahead and show you what I picked up here. I picked up Freaky Flyers on the PS2. I don't remember if it was Metal Jesus Rocks or if it was his buddy, Drunken Master Paul, that talked about this. But I remember one of them talked about this game. Uh, and I think Billy from the Game Chasers also picked it up in an episode. So that's how I'm familiar with it. And from what I understand, it's just like a, like a flying game. It looks like he, you're flying some planes and fighting like giants and stuff like that. So... 
it's kind of interesting. So we're gonna we're gonna check out what that is like later on, and I'll do a review for it, of course, because I like doing reviews for the channel. Picked up this one. This is Motor Mayhem. I had never heard of this game before, uh, but it looks cool. I mean, I like combat racing games. I, I like all sorts of racing games. So when I saw that, I was just like, yeah, why not? Might as well check it out and. Got a few different vehicles you can drive in. It looks like it's got split screen, and yeah, it looks interesting. This uh, has like a looks like a combat mode. That almost looks like I I'll have to play it obviously and check it out. But the back picture almost makes it look a little bit like um, oh I can't think of what it's called. Oh man, well, the PS One game, uh, Twisted Metal. So I'll have to check that out. And last, and I don't know if it's least or not, but it's one that I've been wanting for a while because it is backwards compatible on the Xbox Series X, I believe. And that is Tron Evolution. This was on the backwards compatible list that I was looking at, uh, and I've been wanting to get into the Tron video games. I actually have never watched the movies, but the Tron video games look really cool. There's Tron Evolution and Tron 2.0. So this is obviously one of the ones that I was wanting, and I picked it up, and I'm excited to check it out. So that is my haul for today. I picked up um, 12 games that I'm pretty excited to check out. I was actually looking for some of them as well, so that's always a good thing. I was looking for Crash Test Dummies. I was looking for Tron. I was looking for uh, the Krusty's Fun House. So I, I was looking for those games, and then the Tiny Toons games. You know, I'm always I was looking for Wacky Sports actually, but the other ones, I mean, I didn't even know that there were that many Game Boy games for. So I'm pretty happy with my haul. And that is it for today. Let me know what games you guys have picked up recently in the comments down below. I'm always curious to hear what you guys are playing, what games you guys picked up, you know, what retro games you're into, what systems you're into, and all that stuff. So let me know down in the comments below what you are playing right now, what are your recent pickups, and if you have a channel where you also collect retro video games, hey, let people know. Let people know that you have, you know, a channel where you talk about retro video games because we all need to, you know, I want to support more channels that are like the same size as mine i want to find other people that are the same size as mine and you know help them out too uh and I'd, I'd like to you know be able to subscribe to some smaller content creators too so there we go thank you guys for watching i'll talk to you in the next video you have a wonderful day bye bye